I am Anil Kumar. Let us learn how to estimate product of decimal numbers. We have four examples to work with. You can always pause the video, copy these examples, try them out and then look into my solutions. Now we have to estimate, we don't really have to find the exact answer. First one is 3.5 times 12. 3.5 is like 3.5 times 12. So we could think like this. We could multiply 3 by 12, get our answer. We know it is lower, so we could add half of 12, correct, to get the final answer. 3 times 12 is 36, half of 12 is 6, and when you add them, what do you get? You get 42. So we could write this as what? Now, it may be a decimal number. We may be doing estimation, but sometimes you can actually get exact answer as we got here, which is 42, correct? You could also think about doing 3 times 12 and 4 times 12. Now, if I do 4 times 12, I get 48. And the number in between these two is our estimate, which is 42. So that could be another approach to get the product of decimal number. Now let's do 4.2 times 8.1. Now in this particular case, I will round and then estimate. So let's round them. So I could round this to 4 and I could round this to 8. So we get 4 times 8 plus, because there is 0.2 times 0.1, so plus something extra. So that is how you could estimate. So we have 48, 4 times 8, 4 times 8 is 32. So we have 32 here plus extra. So we could take extra as let's say 1 for example. So we could write this as 33, right? So, so that extra I have taken as 1 and written this as 33. Does make sense? So we could do something like this also. Now let's have one more example. This time we have 3.9 and 5.2. So the first step here is to approximate. So if you approximate, 3.9 is close to 4 and 5.2 is close to 5. And 4 times 5 is number 20. So we could safely write this as 20. This seems to be very accurate since one number is increased, the other one is decreased. Right? So that is okay. Let's do the last case here. 6.8 could be written as 7 and 2.9 could be written as 3. Now we have both of them in higher approximation, right? So we know we should take away something, something less, right? something less. 7 times 3 is 21. So we could write this as, let us say 20, as an approximate estimate. Something less. That's what we're trying to say. You could write 19 also, right? So we have taken the less portion as 1 in this particular case, right? Since we went higher for both, we could have taken 2 also. We could have estimated this to uh, minus 2, which is, we could have done this 20 minus 2, I mean 21 minus 2, as 19 also, correct? So you, like this, you need to estimate. So in simple product of decimal numbers, this strategy could be applied. I would like you to try a few examples. So let me give you practice questions. Let's say E. 5.3 times 2.1 equals to what? And F as 3.2 
times 4.9. So you can try these two examples, estimate, and then check calculation. Check with calculator your estimate. So that will give you an idea that how much extra should you take or how much less should you take to get fairly good estimate. So I hope that will help you to estimate product of decimal numbers. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.